it's Shayna. I'm so happy to see you guys again. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Today we are in a pottery workshop and I'm so happy to be here. I think you guys are like me. We all have the sense that we really want to know more about pottery. I think it's because we are dealing with working with hands and stuff and it always looks so cool to watch it. So it's gonna be so cool to experience it as well. Did you know that pottery is one of oldest human inventions? So if you're one of those guys who really wanted to know how the pottery is being done, what are the basics, then this is the right place for you. Let's go and experience together. So I couldn't come here in this beautiful studio and not ask about pieces. So now how did you make all this beautiful stuff? Is there anything that you want to show? Yeah, sure. These pieces here, they are almost the same way how the other ones mm -hmm. were formed. They have been thrown on the wheel and uh, then altered. But the difference between this and the rest are that this clay is marbled. So you add yeah. stain to your clay when you wedging your clay. Yeah. And you end up with marbled clay. So she didn't color it afterward. It's actually been made while she was making it by adding color and it's gonna be so hard. I would be so proud of myself if I can make this in my first day. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best. So let's go to the next part. So this is called wedging. 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 Okay. This really? looks really like a head. Yeah. <laughs> so this is how it should look like. Like a head. You're gonna down and away. Okay, I'm getting somewhere. Yeah, you are. <laughs> right, so, what's the point of doing this? We're trying to so squeeze it together. You are getting rid of air bubbles. You're mixing your clay. If there are some hard parts and soft parts, yeah. you're mixing it all up, making it consistent. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. I would like to think that I made it. <laughs> Start. We're going to put our roll of clay in the middle mm -hmm. of your wheel and then if you hold your finger at 3 o'clock and start the wheel. Wow, the and then the magic happens. And the magic happens. So the um, pedal is here. If you press down lightly, yeah. it will go slowly. Take a handful of water from yeah. the back of your uh, clay. Okay. And from these two points, 7 and 1, squeeze your clay and bring your hands up. Extending from seven to the center, so bring your left hand up mm -hmm. here, and right hand is on top like this. Ah. And you crunch it down. Okay, <laughs> that's hard. Yeah, so you need to put your elbows down, <laughs> lean in, um, spin full speed. I got some extra pieces. <laughs> to cut it off. You take your cutting wire, scoop this water under your piece and cut. Easy. <laughs> That's my work. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome, my pleasure. So now we can do the second step, which is trimming. not what I made you saw what I made but let's think that this is what I made and we're gonna trim the back of it it's gonna look like this <laughs> it's so fun I love this part and so you will start at three o'clock every time and yeah bring your hand in. so all you're doing is this one making a, okay spiral kind of movement mm. Mm -hmm. Put your, uh, put your down okay, a just to show you, this is what I made, this is what it should be. Okay, <laughs> I think I'm gonna end up with no bottom. <laughs> you always need a planter, right? Yeah. The <laughs> whole point is that when you, your like confidence of what you're doing, then it's not gonna rush you and like ruin the piece. So yeah. it's all about that 
in yeah, our face. Exactly. Yeah. It's a very good point. It's so peaceful though. Yeah. I love it. It's meditative, it's mm. therapeutic. Everybody comes like of the stressful job, yeah. family, and they all say that it's like um, it's my it's time like a therapy. to zone out mm. and forget That's about true. stress. That's so true. Yeah, I enjoy doing it. Okay, so now we're going to do some artistic stuff. We're gonna draw on the plate. Imagine that this is what I made again. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna draw on top of this. So we're going to make yeah. two pieces. Mm -hmm. So you can choose any brush you like, you can choose any colors you like, and draw or paint anything you want. Mm -hmm. So this is the part that she's just leaving me to my senses, <laughs> to artistic senses, and now. I'm all by myself with colors. And I'm gonna go abstract because it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that abstract artists are doing is a job. It's easier for me. So that's what I made. It was more like drooling than drawing. I don't love it, I like it. <laughs> so is that all for today? And thank you so much for everything. Thank you guys for coming over. <laughs> was it hard to teach me? No, not at all. I made a good progress because I had a good teacher. Thank you so much. You're I hope thank to see you. more. Is there anything more that we can come back and learn? Definitely, yeah. You can yeah, come back more techniques. More techniques, more um, different styles of pottery, different types of pieces. Okay. There's no end to this. I wish we can do some carving next time. Oh, that's right. Because yeah. I love carving, you know, I'm a sculptor. Yeah. yeah. Right, next good. time we will come back for more carving and stuff. Promise? Promise. <laughs> Promise. Okay, guys. I'll see you in the last thing. That's it for today. I had so much fun. I enjoyed every little step of it. I'm gonna come back for sure and I really encourage you guys to do more of this kind of activities that makes your mind free. Also lets you to practice more of art. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up so that I would know. If you have any opinions, leave your comments down below and let me know. Have you ever tried pottery? Do you want to try it? in the future that's it for today but we have much more for the future so don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time hope you have a colorful day bye